You may have your seat. I honor our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the head of my life. And he should be the head of your life. Amen. I honor, amen, my pastor, Chief Overseer, amen, Bishop Dennis Caldwell. Thank God for him. Amen. Good friend, Bishop Morrow. Amen. Thank God. Come on, let's thank God for the man of God. Bishop Ernest B. Morrow, the pastor here. Amen. I thank God, amen, for uh, Bishop Milton Bailey being with us. All of the ministers, elders who have raised the roster with us, and all of the ministers that are out there in the uh, audience, we want to thank God for you all. Go ahead and give yourselves a hand, man. This is the day that the Lord has made. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like rejoicing. Hallelujah. Give God the praise. Because I know without a doubt, God deserves. Amen. And we're going to move forward with this beautiful service today. Two services. We're going to have an ordination service. We're going to also celebrate. Amen. Minister Patty Williams' birthday today. And we all going to, and he said he took good food. Amen. I'm down with that. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say amen. At this time, we're going to have prayer by Bishop Bailey as he comes forth and following him. We'll have the scripture by Elder Fountain and then uh, him. Uh, the, the, we'll start with the scripture. Amen. At this time. Let's thank God for Bishop Bailey. Amen. 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 Thank God for my wife that's in the house today, my lady. And then I thank God for my bishop. And then bishop Carwell, thank God for my assistant bishop, Bishop of DeAndre. Thank God for Bishop Mark, my longtime friend. And then thank God for Ellen Hankerson. Thank God for the Ellen Thank God for the uh, secondary pastor. Thank God for you, 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 and you in your respective places. Didn't find a robber to come out to help celebrate with this young lady. An ordination service plus a birthday service. At this time, we're going to ask you to put your minds on the Lord. And let's bow our heads and begin to pray. Our Heavenly Father God, as we come before the throne of grace, Lord, we come in thanking you for everything that you already done. We thank you for touching us early this morning, closing in our right now. We thank you for the use and activities of our limb. Blood still running warm in our veins. We thank you for the five common sense of life, oh God, that we can see, hear, we can smell, we can taste, we can touch, we can feel. We, oh, Lord, we can be about our beings in your name, God. Lord, we thank you for traveling grace over the dangerous highway. We thank you for allowing us to be here just one more time in the number, oh God. Have thine way. When the preach man come today, Lord, anoint him higher. Take him higher heights and deeper depths into your word. Let us open up our ears and hear the cry. Oh God, oh God, that we will receive you into our hearts. Those that don't know you in the part of their sin, that they may come to know you in the fellowship of your suffering and the power of your resurrection. Have thine way, God. Have thine way. Order our step, God. We need you, Lord, in these last and evil days. Continue to strengthen us daily for the journey. Make out of what you want us to be. Give us the victory in every area of our life. Look on our unsaved loved ones. Bless this woman of God today, oh God, as she celebrates her birthday, oh God. Continue to bless her with many, many more. Direct her path. Make out of the leader that you want her to be. Continue to bless her. Have her way. Have your way in her life, Lord. Bless her family, oh God, to be there for her. Oh God, you know her uprising. You know her down setting. You know her ins and her outs. You know her ups and her downs. You know everything about it. But to you, we give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. Continue to strengthen us, God. We need you, oh God. Continue to lead us and guide us into your haven desire. Oh God, look on the sick and shed in the many of you here today. Touch from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. Be God delivered in the name of Jesus. We speak victory right now. We speak deliverance. We speak healing in the name of Jesus. 
And Lord, we thank you for all that you're about to do. And Lord, those that are on their way, shield and protect them, guide them safely, oh God, over the dangerous highway and byway, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, you told your disciples to say these words, our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And we give our debt. We give our debt to you. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the king. Power in the glory. Mind forever. Amen. God bless you. The word war reads, let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. Especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. I read for you 1 Timothy 5th chapter, 17th verse. God has already blessed on his word. Now may God have a blessing on the winners, the doers, and hearers of His holy word. Amen. 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 We thank God for beautiful prayer, scripture reading. Amen. At this time, we're going to have. Um, I don't think Sister Mary Shell is not here yet. Is she? Amen. If not, we're going to have praise and worship by Holy Ghost Revival Center. Let's thank God for Holy Ghost Revival Center. Let's say, let's show you. Praise and worship. Hallelujah.
Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap for the Lord. Come on, come on, let's thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Wonderful. Praise and worship. Amen. From Holy Ghost Revival Center. Amen. Apostle Richardson. Let's give her. When y'all invite her Amen. for praise and worship, we're going to have church. Thank you, Jesus. 
moving forward. There's something about giving God praise. And there's something about telling the Lord thank you. Especially if you've been through so much. They don't know your story. They don't know your story. That's why I praise Him.
I know that he's real. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Over a year ago, I was laid up in the hospital. Two knee replacement operations. Double dose of COVID-19. So I can testify today huh? that he's real. Make no mistake about it. God is still in the miracle business. And then we, we honor all of the ministers, bishops, preachers, even them that are sitting out here. Amen. We thank God for you all being here to help us to induct as an elder our precious elder we I started calling her elder before I ordained her now it's no difference in what they say about a deacon. A lot of folks don't understand that. He said, let them use the office of a deacon before you are ordained. So it's the same thing she been using the office of an elder. Amen. Amen. And my backbone, while I was in the hospital, huh? over here. So I thank God for having a privilege today. In Dr. Christ. 
I heard somebody say, what is done for Christ will last. Huh? And this woman is being set apart for just that purpose. Let us invoke God's blessing upon this occasion. I'm going to tell you what to say, sir. And I'm going to tell you all these what to say also. Right? So you're, you're part of this. Lift up your eye and look unto the hills that they harvest is right. The laborers of thee. That's what Jesus said. To pray ye to the Lord of the harvest that he will send workers in the vineyard. Now, congregation, y'all repeat this. <laughs> Say, already, already he who reaps, he who reaps is, receiving wages, is receiving wages and is gathering fruit, and is gathering fruit for, the eternal, for the eternal life eternal. That he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. The harvest is plentiful, but the work is up to Therefore, beseech the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest. I've heard the call of Christ. Christ. And in the words of Isaiah, in the words of Isaiah, I respond. I respond. Here am I. Here am I. Send me. Send me. <laughs> Amen. Have you, Elder Petty and we, prayerfully considered the responsibility? Of living and preaching the gospel? Yes. And have you weighed the work involved and the sacrifices you may be called upon to make? Yes. I have. I have. <laughs> Do you believe yes. that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, and that the Holy Scriptures are the Word of God yes. to make us wise? Unto salvation through faith in Him. Yes. Are you motivated? Yes. Not of a desire for position or earthly gain, but the love of God and your and the wish to glorify Him and save them. Yes. To build up the church, the body of Christ, to prepare the people for work, to labor for the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God. Yes. You will. Okay. <laughs> will you endeavor to live a life of love? within your family and in the community, and so draw others to Christ through your example, as well as by your word. I will. Okay. Repeat this. I will make it the purpose, make it the purpose of, my life of my life to live for Jesus, live Christ. For Jesus Christ. And I ask your prayers, I ask your prayers and the prayers of this church to help, me to help me in this ministry. This ministry. To the congregation. Have you? No, no, no. Don't. <laughs> They're willing and ready, huh? Have you, members of the Christian Assembly, carefully considered the qualifications? of Elder Patty Ann Williams 
for the work of the ministry as a servant of Christ. Not even say you have. Are you satisfied that she will be a worthy messenger and representative of the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you, are you willing that she should be a name? <laughs> to the Christian ministry? Okay. Have a seat. I'm asking all the pulpit ministers to come down. One of my members used to sing the song. Lay your hands on me, Jesus. I don't mind. God of our Father, who gave himself to save all mankind, we come today with praise on our lips and a petition in our heart. How thankful we are for Christ, who when lifted up, called us to his holy service. We praise you, O oh God, that Jesus died for us and that we may bring our lives to him in return. We are thankful for this, your servant, who offers herself to the ministry of Christ. Father, grant her the spirit of wisdom that she may know you better. May her heart be enlightened through the knowledge of your word. May her feet be swift with the gospel of peace. Her hands outstretched toward those in need. Her tongue a ready instrument for the message of Christ. May her message be always true to your word. And his life and her life consistent with her words. When discouragement comes, uphold her. In her success, shield her from pride. Let her fear God rather than man. Give her boldness to make that choice. May your spirit work through him your will. To bring men to Christ. To build up the church. To extend the kingdom of righteousness and truth. Be her consistent companion. Father, and may she be yours. That her life will cause many to find salvation both here and in eternity. Through Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.
the theme, the ch a charge to keep our head, a God to glorify, to serve the present age. Huh? That's our duty. Amen. The Christian ministry is both a great joy and a solemn responsibility. May your first priority be to follow Christ. The Apostle Paul said, follow me and I follow Christ. Amen. So, what a, what a cameraman. the words that my pastor left behind many, many years ago. And that song was, whatsoever you do for Jesus, let it be real. Amen? Let it be real. Oh, mm -hmm. 
her story has led to this. Hallelujah. And God so fit to elevate her as she is now. None other than Elder Patty Williams. Amen.
Jesus, I bet the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. Let's thank God for Elder Patty Williams. Thank the Lord. As we move forward with our service, we ask Sister Melanie Richardson to come with a solo. Let's thank God for Sister Melanie Richardson. Can't you see? 
presented by the Advantage Fed and Young, November the 4th, 2020. Amen. Wow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hallelujah, amen. It's good to give a person their flowers while yes. they're living. Thank you. 
But what I have to say, it takes longer than two minutes. So I'm going to give you a personal call. Because we are personal friends. Ever since grade school. So we know each other back and forth. So we've shared some great memories together. And even in this church, beautiful Zion the Temple of God, we shared some great memories together also. And uh, this is just the beginning of a great long journey. This is not the end, it's just the beginning. So your favorite is what? A charge to keep and a God to glorify. And I want you to continue to keep that charge and continue to glorify God, regardless of what the naysayers say. The word says that just because you are Israel, you're not, you're, just because you are from Israel, you're not Israel. And everybody that knows the word know how to, how, how to, uh, right, right, and divide that word. So I don't have to break it down for you. But anyway, glory be to God. Amen. Amen. His church. Amen. I believe on these grounds. Amen. But I thank God for uh, the fellowship and I just like to encourage you, my sister, stay in the fight. Amen. You have, you have been humble and the word of God teaches us, he that humbled himself shall be exalted. So God is, God is using you. Let him continue to use you and stay in the fight. God bless you. Preacher in Jesus' name, amen. Two minutes, amen. I bid you God speed. If I was to sing a song, that it say it has been a long journey, but he's been right there by, by your side. Amen. May God continue to bless you in your elevation in Jesus' name. Amen.
give God glory for your life. We thank God with God. All things are possible. And just know that there's nothing that you want to face that God has already prepared you for. So walk, walk, walk. Without fear, without doubt, but with purpose. Because He has called you and sent you to Jesus. Bless you.
We got a gospel group that's going to perform today. So we got a couple more people to go ahead with. We're going to get two more people that will get the opportunity to give the words of encouragement. Then after that, we'll hear from and then our gospel group. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. This is a good short song. This is good.